everybody, Smart Drivers, Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to test the tractor protection system. Any truck designed to pull a trailer with air brakes is going to be equipped with a tractor protection system which consists of the tractor protection valve. <laughs> Just to confuse you, the system and the valve are called the same thing, the tractor protection system, tractor protection valve, and the eight-sided trailer air supply valve on the dash. Many people think the trailer air supply valve on the dash controls the parking brakes on the trailer, but it doesn't. That's just a subsequent action. Today we're going to talk to you about how to test the tractor protection system on the truck and trailer. We'll be right back with that information. Stick around. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to test the tractor protection system on a truck that's designed to pull a trailer equipped with air brakes. All trucks pulling trailers with air brakes will have a tractor protection system. As I said in the introduction, consists of the tractor protection valve and the trailer air supply valve. So to test it, the first test, there's three tests for testing the tractor protection system. The first one is to pump down the air pressure in the system between 20 and 45. The trailer air supply will pop out, shutting air off to the trailer. The second test is to go out to the trailer to ensure that the parking brakes have indeed applied. They've applied, you come up, pull off the glad hands off the trailer, come up to the truck, make a service brake application. There shouldn't be any air leaking out through the tractor protection valve and that is the third test and when it passes those three tests then you know that the tractor protection system is working on the truck. So the first one here is to pump down between 20 and 45 and ensure that the trailer air supply shuts off air to the trailer. Now as I said in the introduction the trailer air supply does not activate the parking brakes on the trailer. It's a subsequent action to what it actually does. It says trailer air supply therefore it supplies air to the trailer. Think of the trailer air supply as a like a light switch in your house. The light switch in your house controls electricity. It doesn't turn the light off and on. It controls electricity and subsequently it turns the light out off and on. So if you have a light switch in your house that turns the garage light on and off, you turn the light switch off, you turn the electricity off, and to know that the light in the garage went out, you actually have to go out to the garage and check that the light went out. So same thing with the trailer air supply valve. When it shuts air off to the trailer, you actually have to go out to the trailer to ensure that the trailer brakes applied. Same thing as the light in the garage. You gotta go out to the light to make sure it actually went out. And so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna pump down between 20 and 45, make sure the trailer air supply valve pops out. So the low air warning has activated and the trailer air supply has shut air off to the trailer between 20 and 45. Now we're gonna get out of the truck, we're gonna go back to the trailer and make sure that the trailer brakes indeed have applied. So what you do is you come back here to check that the trailer brakes have applied. You simply look in here, the slack adjuster and push rod are making a 90 degree angle, therefore you know the brakes are applied. It's an approximate 90 degree angle because it has to be 90 degree angle. If it isn't 90 degrees, the push rod and slack adjuster aren't set up correctly. So, you know, there's been some people out there that have said, oh, it's applied this and that. It's 90 degrees because if it isn't 90 degrees, it's not good physics. And it's just the way that it's set up. So you know that the brakes are applied because the push rod and slack adjuster form 90 degrees. Now we're gonna go up to the front of the trailer and disconnect the glad hands. So at the front of the trailer, we just disconnect the glad hands. Just the glad hands, you don't have to take the electrical line off. Set the glad hands down here on the deck like that, open the door, make a service brake application. You don't have to get in the truck just with your hand. Push down on that. No air leaking out of the glad hands. Therefore, I know the tractor protection valve is working properly. All three tests, the trailer air supply button on the dash pop between 20 and 45. The trailer brakes applied. I know that because the push rod and slack adjuster make a 90 degree angle. I take the glad hands off make a service brake application and there's no air escaping from the tractor protection valve. And after I do that, I reattach the two lines. And most of the time when you test the tractor protection valve, you're gonna be doing this as part of all of your in-cab checks. So you'll get back in the truck and do your compressor test, maximum buildup at maximum pressure and do your leak test. But this is just the tractor protection system that you're testing.
So in review, testing the tractor protection system. All trucks designed to pull trailers equipped with air brakes are gonna have a tractor protection system. The first thing you do is chalk the wheels on the truck, release the parking brakes, pump the system down between 20 and 45. The trailer air supply should shut off air to the trailer. And as I said, it doesn't apply the parking brakes. It supplies air to the trailer and shuts off air. It's just like a light switch in your house. It turns electricity off and on. The trailer air supply shuts air off and on to the trailer. After it shuts off air to the trailer between 20 and 45, you go out to the trailer to make sure that the trailer brakes have applied between, and you know that because the slack adjuster and push rod form a 90 degree angle. You come up to the front of the trailer, take the glad hands off, make a service brake application. There isn't any air leaking out of the glad hands. Therefore, you know the tractor protection valve is working. And those are the three tests. You say that to the examiner. All three tests indicate that the tractor protection system is working. Question for my smart drivers. For those of you doing semi-trailer, do you have to test the tractor protection system as part of your license? Leave a comment down in the comment section. All of that helps us out. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. As well, check out all the videos here. Check out the videos over here. All of those will give you great information for those of you going to get a license or starting a career as a bus or truck driver. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. So just so just quick review, testing the tractor protection system. Tra